king is bold, but desperate. Will you engage him personally, your highness? Of course. Grigor's breath fill your wings. Reform the cohorts. At once. Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The Capital? What of my father is His he? Radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. fight on the front lines even if they're completely overpowered. Just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster! And I deserve to die! So end it! End it! Now. Please! Please! Ah! I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first. I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. 
Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in the hall. God damn, dude. <laughs> I need the new room. <laughs> I mean, if I came to that same realization, I would not survive. Ah, oh, yeah. As well, hear what he has to say. Speak with Sid. Yes, after we've had our breakdown, let's go speak with Sid. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Bro, I'm having a mental breakdown. Make it quick. What's that for you, dear? Oh, hell yeah, I get a sick weapon, though. No scratches, all right? Okay, the rest is good, but we got and... a sick Garuda weapon. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh... Yo. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. No, there's still another dominant of fire out there. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. I do like that you can replay things. Okay, what have we got going on here? Clive, wasn't it? I heard you got locked up. Ah, don't look so down. Happens to the best of us. Well, us who are halfway interesting, anyhow. <laughs> What's this? Thirds is? You greedy pig. You know what? I don't want to talk to the bard right now. The bard is just going to be annoying. <laughs> Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes, on account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. 
I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Oh, it's all lore. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. What subject shall we consider today? I see. Well, that's nice to have. Well, I cannot jump high enough to get over there. And you can't jump as high as my Allison. <laughs> okay. Ah, I keep taking a frickin' screenshot instead of hitting <laughs> it. On, hold the button. Hold the button, you dumb box. <laughs> Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came, the people left, and just like that, it was deserted, making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Come on, buddy. You like that, don't you? Oh, I finally get the trophy for that. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Yeah, but what about the other dominant fire? Aren't you curious? Don't you want to know who that is? <sighs> oh, whoa, I didn't think I'd actually have to jump down there. More killing. That's for what? Give them all you've got, boys. Get him! 
That was hardly anything. All that effort and for what? Oh, I guess I get a cutscene. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. issues with bridges in video games these days. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my tea. The 
joking. <laughs> Is it boy? Also, her friends still <laughs> unconscious. I mean, she was in pretty bad. Gas! Who goes there? This one's a deserter. Take his head out of my way. You made your choice. Don't let them get away. Sick of Toggle. Come on. Uh, 
Falling into those rapids would be a very bad time. Oh, it's right on. I didn't even notice it was right on a waterfall like that. Yeah. Bleh. Ah. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two. My sniffing deers would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. Why don't we go find out? But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, he's not wrong. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Get some answers. Yeah, right, decision. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Sid. Damn. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. Yes, We're running why? out of time. Oh, yes. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Survive? Somehow? Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. So cute. Why is he so pretty? Ah, ah, ah. Uh. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! Oh, finally. She's awake! 
right? <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Come on. <laughs> Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Come on. Jill. Go see her. I guess I can make him go see her first. We're gonna check out the blacksmith and then the arm, the store. Well? So, will it be? Anything else? Nope. You're no use to me. Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. I reckon I can find a buyer. This will hold on to some for a while. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? I wonder what it's trying to say. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. <laughs> that sounds painful. Healed. Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. 
thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant, and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, man, he, he spoke to me. Yeah, I still don't know what, what did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. Unless the phoenix is just taking Joshua's fault. What did he mean? Clive? Like Louis. We should go back there. To Phoenix Gate. They could have become one. I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did... ...then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll Attaboy. be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. <laughs> I like her. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. Oh, now there's a quest marker. Let's go Let's see. get this fixed before someone doesn't see it. Hey, what you got for me? Ah, gradually getting... I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. And we strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I have three meals. I'd be happy. Marv, the three. I guess I'm just a delivery boy. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks. We just don't have enough teams to follow everything. Mmm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh. They must keep... Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put one who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, 
thanks for the food and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Yeah, I would be happy smelling like a stable because then I gotta hang out with Trunkables all day. <laughs> Back so skinny, Sammy. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. <laughs> Guard duty oh, down here can't be much fun. Too. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help you keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Oi. Who did you bend over for to get the room? <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Can I help Kenneth send me? There you go. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does you Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I would be okay. lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Well, well, we're over here too. You! What's it's my. I cannot concentrate. One, please. I... All right. Marvelous. Sa Where about is she? Gotan's Bales. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bear. Now go. We're gonna pray. We're looking at half a dozen. <laughs> Is it the Moogle funny? Ah, you're back here. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place, too, of course, as you have just so capably proven, and you will... It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna forget about half of those abilities right away, but you know what? We're gonna buy them anyways. Gotta love how only one of my tails shows up like this. I guess I can move my ass with my box and cover. Okay, we only need to see one of my tails. 
Someone's in trouble. Would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. You don't really need a... Listen to all the sub quest NPC dialogue doing. Soil then. There's certainly nothing in here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? <laughs> We're just gonna take back all the dirt. Bring back the entire vineyard of soil. Look at those grapes. I better get it back to the hideaway. <laughs> those certainly aren't squapes, that's for sure. That's going to be the 7.0 update. We're going to have high def grapes. She's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. Well, you told me but to save this, her. With this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurement. Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it... Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick.
now. Come by again when we've grown some fruit worth eating, and I'll see that you get some. The furrows will need expanding. I really do with a proper place to train. What do you? To say farewell. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for you. I know. Now, what do you really want? Really? I just made that one. Ah, but five points is It'd five better points. I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Off you go. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. Make it quick. Watch, you'll be here for Sorry, will it be? Yeah, as I thought. Oh, frick. Not bad, if I do say so myself. made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Oh, yeah. Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No <laughs> need to make such a fuss. Don't be shy. Take a hug. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. You're not gonna fuss over Torgal? Baby's here. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Oh, she's been awake for like 12 hours. Oh. 
Ah, now it's an imperial province. We should press on. It. Seen at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. Can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fusions. finished building the bridge then after what happened at Phoenix Gate it didn't seem the highest priority Hold on. I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Here, you understand me, don't you? I these blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for. Fine. That's the spirit. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then, and don't go taking any detours on the way. We're gonna take all the detours. Yeah! <laughs> 
You know what to do, boy. Get him. Stable master, I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy. But still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Y'all bloody suck. You barely have to step. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? He goes to East Pool, leave him in the park. Who's a G? I'm a G. Hey, Martha. I always think of Martha speaks to the dog that ate alphabet soup so she could talk. The dog was kind of a brat. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. <laughs> Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. <laughs> that might have shown up, I don't know. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt.
You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. Great Imperial. We should hurry. Taking over a nation. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest Taking way down. Province. If you have a head for heights. And then not His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. My God. Bentargo. It was good, honest work. Very good to East Pool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. You can't. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Oh, yeah, that seems about right. There he is. Hold on, we're coming! You know what to do, boy. Over. <laughs> Damn. Just kick that fucker. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well... I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away get moving buddy oh, the trusses are still sturdy it's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck I'll have it done in no time thank you Bernard we were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves we're very grateful for your help, and sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. Right. Well, I guess they could have gone around that way, huh? Oh well. I'm taking the scenic route. You ain't pulled that sore from this guy. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. What are you after? At all, is it? Yeah. Ah, 
We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Warcraft and shit. Yay! Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. Really? All right. All right. You carry a baby for nine months and throw it out just because it's a bearer? Unbelievable, isn't it? What a puncher. Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Disgusting. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. Oh. Okay. And for depression? And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you. Sorrow wise. And he'll bang. show you, Are you what for I mean. fucking real. Understood. Koji. We need to talk about localization. Fresh cut, fresh I love cut. when she's kind of on the nose like that, mm -hmm. though. Hard way to get down. Oh, there we go. It is a lift. <sighs> decided at birth and assumed it was best for all concerned I know but for a child to be blamed to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own 
We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Keep your distance, boy. Give them all you've got, boy. You know what to do, boy. Sick of trouble. There, boy. Sick of trouble. Where's the Abbey? What darkness awaits us within, I wonder? Let's go and see. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father.
I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Oh, fucked. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Turnips. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. It was good, honest work. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us.
I know that you Bussy will up. always be welcome here. Thank you, ma'am. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Ah, so she does. That's it for today. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.